Then she wakes me next morning and tells me I have to leave. Her old man's getting up. No bother the night before. Probably sobered up around the same time she woke up. You know what that was? Saw so my fuzzy head said, Who the fuck's your man? Shit attack in case she gets caught. Me snaking through the living room, downstairs bedroom. Didn't have time to worry out the door so fast. No toast or nothing. Didn't have a clue where I was. Wasn't hanging around to find out. Born grass from the bonnets. Still putting on me jacket at this stage, just feeling like the cat that got some. Sluting dogs and all as I'm walking down the road. Zips up the coat, laughs in the pocket, and I get that panicky thing, you know? Where's me phone? Checking me turkey pockets. And normally, you know, like you find it after giving yourself a fright. Phew and all that. But no, let me fucking phone back and hog out. Doors. Don't even know what number she lives in. And I'm only got a couple of hundred yards thinking, I can't go back now in case her dad answers the door. Yeah, what? Tap seven in the morning. What you want? Your uh, daughter there has my phone. It's probably next to the man who made clock in her bedside locker. Hang on a minute. Tracy don't follow United at all. Tracy stays in the one fucking boss. Rang my phone for my place. Don't even know me your number. Oh yeah, girl. I think I left my... You have my phone. Dropping into waxies there. So, 